The Perpignan trip was was really worthwhile. Um, just for a lot of, you know, we, I think we used 12 academy players, so it was really positive experience for those guys to actually experience being away in France because it's definitely a little bit different. Um, the trip to Templeville slightly different, um, a little bit more familiar for, for a lot of guys. Um, so yeah, no, it was good, a lot of good things in the game. Um, great that the fact that the likes of Rob Carney had been out injured, uh, Jordy Murphy had been out injured since November, came back, Dave Carney even towards the end of last season as well. Um, Plus, you know, even Scott Fardy making his, his first appearance as well. So, yeah, a lot of positives in terms of getting guys through the game. Um, so, yeah, we'll try and continue on that for, for this game against Bath. you got to test yourself as well and give yourself a, like a, a true test of reality, I guess, of where you're at. And, you know, it's good to have such a good quality team such as Bath coming in. Um, they've had a pretty settled pre-season. You know, they, they played Ospreys last week. Um, just on Sunday, actually, but you know, they, you know, I talked to Steve Tandy at the launch against Pro 14 yesterday, and he just said they were very strong physically. Um, so yeah, it'll be a tough challenge for our guys. Um, as you mentioned last year, when we played against Bath, and it was a tough hit out for us. You know, we were we were a little bit slow to start. We came back into the game, but then you know they showed their quality towards the end. So it'll be a good good test for to see where we are at as a group. Um, you know, there's always a challenge for us in the fact that with so many guys away on various different tours um, coming back how we integrate those different players so we'll see a couple of guys come into the reckoning again this week with some more guys coming back in against Dragons the week after and that'll sort of be the theme for the next few weeks.